Companies seem to think that the quickest way to get a Fed pivot is to pull the plug on job openings. Amazon is the latest multinational corporation to freeze corporate hiring. According to an internal announcement obtained by the New York Times, there will be no more hiring in its retail businesses for the rest of the year. Amazon is just one of many. Job openings fell to 10.1 million, or 6.2%, at the end of August from 11.2 million in July. This is despite the people quitting their jobs, a number that held steady at 4.2 million, according to Bureau of Labor Statistics data last week. Hiring was little changed at around 6.3 million, or a 4.1% rate, in August, while layoffs and discharges held steady near 1.5 million, or 1%. Job openings are gone, and the Twitter world is having a field day speculating why. Some claim phantom and duplicate job openings have been shut down. Some say companies are finally feeling the effects of tightening. People are starting to lose money, and they are not buying. Some think that businesses are beginning to be cautious as fear of an actual recession creeps in. Regardless, though, the markets are also starting to price in the Fed pivot. The stock market went up 6% in two days. The last two days have seen the biggest gain in stocks since April of 2020. Before you go following this trend, know that we have been in this same situation in the year 2018. At that time, the Fed was able to stop raising rates in December of 2018 and pivot because the real Fed fund rate went positive. Right now, the real Fed funds rate is lower than any time ever. Be very, very cautious. These stock market rallies and crashing job openings are ruining what the Fed is trying to achieve here. Clearly, investors should not expect a Fed pivot before inflation drops below 6%, just as the Fed has said repeatedly. Just keep in mind, a Fed pivot, or the anticipation of one, can still lead to sharp rallies. But that is nothing but speculative mania in a desperate attempt to recover. Let us know in the comment section below what your thoughts are if you think the Fed pivot train is approaching or if we should not expect it in the near future. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn the notification bell on so you're notified each time we post a video. This is Risk Flex with Nibble Gold News.